videos <laughs> hello and welcome back to my youtube channel boop, 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 boop. ah the last time you guys saw me when was that you know what i thought today i woke up i was like you know what i miss my family i miss my youtube family let's catch up the last time you guys saw me and I, I, I watched that video a lot actually i was in my gown i was packing up i was done with school everything was great <laughs> i was teary and we all cried it was it was fantastic it was fantastic a lot of changes has happened well I've moved cities, I've moved provinces, <laughs> it's a new year, new year, uh, I hope everyone is doing well, I hope uh, you guys have been great, um, going head on at every challenge that you have faced and i pray that the second half of the year is also gonna be great i am intending to come back yeah finally i had an excuse i was like yeah finally i was hectic i couldn't be on youtube and do finally but now internship is quite different uh it also has its own challenges but i'm sure i can come back to youtube i'm sure i can come back to youtube now i mean of course I can, uh, but there's a lot of catching up to do. A lot has happened, <laughs> but all good. The transitioning as well. I wanted to do two videos today. The other one is going to be just informative for final years, applying for work. Uh, what are the things that you need to look out for and all of that. I will try to shoot it. I'm working tonight. Um, yeah, I'm doing another shift. I'm doing a call from 8 p.m. until... I'm supposed to be until 8 a.m. tomorrow, but you know how things are in hospital. It's probably going to be until 12 tomorrow, midday. So yeah, from 8 until 12, I should be at work. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, I've done worse calls. I mean, yeah, I mean, it comes with the work. We don't, we don't complain. We do not complain at all, ever. But anyway, as I was saying, there's a lot of catching up I need to do. As you can see, I'm working on my smile. There's that. Uh, how's the change been? Um, um, it's been it's been great. Uh, I'm enjoying working in Gauteng. I'm working in Gauteng. Uh, I am working with the SMU students. Um, so I miss Cape Town. Of course, I miss Cape Town. I miss my friends in Cape Town. Um, a lot of my friends moved uh, a lot. There's a lot of people in KZN. Some people decided to stay in the Western Cape. And at the hospital I'm working at, only a few of us are from Staley's and we're all in different groups so yeah I've had to make new friends and that has been great I mean I'm a very sociable person I li I I'd like to think oh, it's an energy it exude positive vibes so you see it's very easy for people to become friends with me right <laughs> don't worry this video is gonna be just all over the place but yeah the transitioning has not been bad uh, i have made good friends i'm happy um more than anything like i'm very grateful that i'm very happy um the work was it everything that i hoped it was gonna be um not really um i, I just feel like i could have i could be more hands-on do more things but i'm working in academic hospital um there's a registrar there's students so the intern is just the guy who it's just there in the background <laughs> he's just there doing his own thing and everyone else is working um but more than anything like i don't mind um i feel like after studying for so many years because remember when i did medicine i did other things and um, it's been like a whole journey i'm enjoying the break like i don't want to lie i'm enjoying the break easing myself into work um the fact that i don't have that many responsibilities i mean it's not a bad thing um i would have loved to do more but I, I make the most of what I am doing um, because you know like being a doctor you are working with people each and every single day and for me it's been great I studied with obstetrics um, I mean I, I love ops everyone who knows me knows I love ops so it was great and I went to peds everyone who knows me will tell you that loves peds I love ops I love peds so I started with the ones that I love I'm doing internal medicine now <laughs> one of my least favorites but you know what i won't drag my feet i'll still go to work i'll still show up i'll still do the most um even though it's not really my favorite but 
uh, the fact that I get to work with great seniors, it's also very amazing. I feel like it's the one of the biggest things about this year. Um, one of the most important things about starting work it's the people that you're going to work with. If you have great seniors, that helps. Um, people who are always available for you to call them when each hits the fan. So that has been very great. Uh, the fact that we also, you know, we get to work with people, like I said, to touch lives, to make a difference. I mean, it's been great. Um, where do I stay? I stay at DQ. I guess my place is the ghetto. <laughs> But I can explain, I can explain. Um, for me, I choose to stay in DQ because your fave, yeah, that's another part that we're gonna talk about. Um, I didn't wanna buy a car very quickly, oh, um, but now I really, really do need it. We'll talk about that. Um, as we catch up. Also, one of the most uh, important things that were like the deciding factors for me was the fact that I don't like load shading. I hate the dark. I don't want I like I can compromise on a lot of things, but load shading, no, it's not one of them. So the fact that DQ doesn't have load shading for me was like a plus. Like if I have to stay in a place and I want a load shading, of course I'm gonna stay there. Um the rent is cheap. They haven't said it to charge me. I've actually been staying for fever though, although for six months now. I, I get worried. <laughs> I'm very worried because every month I'm like, okay, they will deduct. And they don't deduct. I'm like, can you just take your money? <laughs> like, you can take all of it at once. It's fine. <laughs> I just start taking because I don't want them next year to be like, we're going to take <laughs> the whole <laughs> amount at once. I'm like, what am I going to eat that month? But yeah, I mean, rent is cheap. It's like, uh, it's, it's, it's a thousand rand compared to outside where my two bedroom would have charged me 5.2. So that's that to factor in. And then the fact that I live in the, on the premises, I just walk to work. Whereas if I was outside, petrol would have to be something I have to factor in as well. So those were the things that made me realize, oh, wait a second, it's fine, man. Get a new DQ. I'll stay in DQ. I mean, it's not, a, it's not a very long time and get to do the other things that I really, really want to do, like get to leave. I always wanted to work on my smile. So at least I got a chance to put on braces. You can see things like that. Um, I get to buy things I want to buy without the pressure of saying, oh, I need to pay rent, I need to pay a car deposit, installment. Yeah, Hashem, I delayed, I delayed. <laughs> but now I'm like, I talk a good way with this. I really, 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 really need it. But I'm, I'm in the process of getting it. Ah, but yeah, we still can get our self-awareness. I feel like that's the most important thing in life, to be self-aware. So now my issue right now is that the cars that I love, expensive and the one that i can afford i'm like i am not gonna drive you i'm sorry <laughs> like, so like i need to compromise at some point i need to decide and share with the, the kind that i want so i was talking with my friends um so I, one of my friends i was thinking the boot and i considered it i was like okay yeah he makes a point so he makes a very good point but I went back and forth, back and forth, and I'm like, I really love this car. And now, every, everywhere I look, I see it. I'm like, I gave out. So I was thinking, I can't go on. I can't go on. I can't go on. I can't go on. I can Like, I don't even go home that often. I go here every other month. So why can't I go on space? I can't go on. I like, oh, wow, oh, 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 oh. I was like, mm -mm. I've made peace with Hori. We like even today when I went to the mall, one of the things that I wanted was actually to buy an outfit for when I go back, when I go fetch it. But I didn't. Understand. But I'm like, okay, at least tomorrow I'm going back to Joburg to put the bottom braces. So I'm gonna buy an outfit. I feel like I'm gonna buy an outfit that I'm gonna wear when I'm gonna fetch my car, which is gonna happen sometime this month. <laughs> Then we'll be, yeah, yeah, we took in Kirill piece. Now, this other color that I wanted. Um, also, I think I'm asked three as a second option. She would say, I would have a card, she put some pictures of it. I was like, mm, okay, cool. I'm like, yeah, it's cute, but I want a wheel. So, 
I've made peace. I feel like I've, I've reached a point where I've made peace. Yo, and the Uber's here. Guys, getting an Uber to town from Wileaf. Mess. Messy. Never ever. <laughs> like, I did it crazy. On Friday, today is Sunday. On Friday, I wanted an Uber. I couldn't get it. I had to sleep because I was like, I'm not doing this. It's okay. And then today, I was like, I'm not doing this. Couldn't find it. Then I was deciding for a gay thing, you know. I walk, I walk to the taxi van. I was like, it's fine. We would go to the taxi. Walk to the taxi van. I took a taxi. Went to town. But now I'm like, oh, what? Like, why is so cold? Oh, why is so cold? My aunt and Buddhist are going to be Why are you told? Like, I can't go low, please. <laughs> so yeah. So that's that's the thing right now. That we. That's my biggest issue now. Buying a car. That's the my biggest issue right now was. Yo, I need to finish final year. Yo, final year was the ghetto. Like, school is the ghetto. But for everybody who is studying, just just keep on keeping on. Uh, my advice would be never. I'll always give advice. As, as an old soul, like, giving advice is what I do best. So, my advice to you would be keep on keeping on. Go for it. Oscar, give up. Don't give up. The, the grass. The grass is very. <laughs> greener on the other side the grass is greener on the other side keep on keeping on um what doesn't kill you will make you stronger it might make it might it might make you lose weight but keep on keeping on man. like Otlabona, like that time will fly you'll finish and it will all be like a distant memory when i think about how horrible i found last year to be um and i compare it to this year i'm like yeah you know what um everything happened the way it was supposed to happen and i'm very grateful for it i will forever forever be grateful for the opportunities that i grabbed with both hands and i, and I ran with them um i think about when i was starting out to medical school um it was a bit older i had qualifications and i went back and forth back and forth it's my decision um even in the medical school there were moments where i was like mm, maybe i should work because it was it was really tough at some point, uh, but I'm very proud of the decisions that I made as a young person to keep on keeping on. Um, that's the advice I would give you. Uh, if you haven't started and you still want to start, um, go for it. Go for it. Um, for me, I would never say to somebody, don't do it because of my own issues that I had to deal with. People are very different. Uh, people's strengths are very different. And then you know also why you want to do this. Um, the reason why you want to do it is quite different from the reasons why I wanted to do it. Quite different to the reasons why someone wants to give up. Um, so if we're not in your hearts of hearts, you know, oh, <clears throat> this is what you want to do, so do it. Go for it. Um, the grass is greener on the other side. This is, this is a privilege. I feel like most importantly, the one thing that I've always wanted to remind myself, that I always remind myself about, is the fact that this job is a privilege. The fact that you get to work with people and then they get to share the most intimate parts of themselves with you. You get to see people in their most, most vulnerable states and they trust you. They respect you. Sometimes they are very difficult. They don't mean to be difficult all the time. Sometimes it's just... I, I have to remind myself <clears throat> that they are not just being difficult because by difficult. Some people are very difficult because they're just difficult people. But sometimes it's just that people are in their most vulnerable states and no one wants to be sick. Hospitals are not the greatest place to be in. <clears throat> I remember there were moments when I, was when I would be on call, it would be 2 a.m. and I would see a mommy bringing a baby in and I would shame. Like, you have those moments where you're like, you get pissed. Why are you coming at this hour? Like, you could have waited until the morning. But I always made sure that, you know, I recognize that feeling in me. And I, I, I reprimand myself to say that for Mama, I said, Wana, at the hospital at this hour, it means that something must have happened. And then she panicked and then she brought the kid. Um, yeah, I can feel tired and I'm, I've been away, I've been up for over 20 hours now. I, I just wanted to rest, but ultimately, this is somebody <laughs> like who is 
needing your assistant and you can give them you can provide them with that um so you go for it you go in there you just do it uh, <clears throat> it's a privileged job um do we get underpaid of course we will get underpaid do we does it abuse us yes the system is broken it abuses us but um we we work with what we have um we build those relationships with people we 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 do what we can do so if you feel like that is you you have that inside of you then definitely go for it and one thing i've realized is that <clears throat> you don't have to be passionate about this job for you to be able to do it um yes a lot of people will push up passion but uh if you have the skills the necessary skill set you have the determination you can also do it um some people they just have the knowledge you can see them the way they interact with people is not really the best of things but they can do the job um you need to balance in life you'll have overly passionate people you'll have not so passionate people but life is better balance <laughs> you'll always find the middle ground and you make it work you make it work for yourself you make it work for your patients so yeah <clears throat> i don't want to go on and on and on and on and on <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this was a young catch up. Um, I've been been talking for a very long time now. But yeah, I mean, how has the transition been from being a student to being a worker? I mean, it's been great. I'm enjoying it. Um, I get to spoil myself. <laughs> On a Sunday, <laughs> you know, today I, I like the, I, I only went to the mall to say I, I need a cheese cup. I needed to cut my hair, and I also was like, ah, we get like a buff and shine. I was like, yes, I need a buff and shine. But I was getting there, and I was like, you know, there are those days where my 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 my, my hair is just messy. This here, I was a hole in it, so I'm like, okay, cool. I need the beanies. So hey, I went to the shop, scare, scare, a few beanies, need the capes, you know. I don't give born like what so I'll show you. I'm about to enter my little king, that air. And I feel like I can see look at you. Oh boop 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 king, I made peace. Like the one thing that I have that I've done for myself. Now I will make peace with my things. I've made peace with my head as a well. <laughs> but now it's like you know what? People don't have to see me come bandana all the time. I even bought this one. I've always felt like my head is big for the beat. But look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, shame. With this one. Uh, taking everyone's person with this one. Shame. Yeah. Wanna feel? Here's a king. I should be modeling for my aunt. Probably should video call her after this and show her all of these feats. But she doesn't answer her phone. But hopefully she will. And I got this one as well. Um let me just fix this here. Cool. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see now. Ah, it looks it looked way better at the store that than it is now looks like the other one i mean no what's happening with this now you see the issue is this guy inside let me just remove that because what was that honey because it looked much better in the store <whistles> looks like the other one is whole for me as long as on those days no one is seeing my bandana when I don't have time to go to the mall to go get a cheese scope. Sounds good. Ah, uh, and then a blast from the past. This one. This is the last one, by the way. Got this one because it's a key. Koposa, when I was still in middle, middle school, with her. especially this one. <laughs> Probably this one, my, my nephew will take it as soon as I get home. But you know what? That, that's just working. I'm about to enter that air. I think like, I like the cab. One more kiss. Also decided to go with the game. Get a perfume. And it's like, why am I not buying perfume here? Expensive. I mean, socks always need money. So once that gets paid, I was like, yeah. One of the lights. It's like, you know what? You deserve, deserve good things. It's like, this thing, the last time I, I wanted it, it was 1.2, but 
uh 1.3 years so today it was 900 i was like hmm i did feel like a few hundred dollars i was like okay it's fine it's 400 less i'll buy you and at least it was like a whole package all right pack. this thing smells so nice shucks it's good even had like a young what is this one shampoo let's smell the shampoo Okay, it also smells great. So imagine my beard. When I after shave. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee